Hello my dudes, my name is Dude Dudley and I'm a professor in social wilderness studies. Welcome to my educational show, The More You Know! Today I'm in Sarnia, Ontario and I'm going to teach you about one of the most unpredictable, savage, indomitable creature this social nature has to offer. And I'm talking about the French Canadian. <laughs> See? Savages. Even if you learn French and you try to engage in a conversation with a francophone, you might not understand them. And here's the reason why. For example, if you hear them say, ça fait que, they really are saying, c'est pour cette raison que, which means, Here's the reason why, which doesn't seem too bad, but they use it a lot. Ça fait que j'ai payé 10 pièces pour ça. Ça fait que les Blue Jays ont gagné. Ça fait que j'ai dit non. Ça fait que... 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 Next one is Pantoute, which is a derivative from Pas du tout. <laughs> but it doesn't even sound the same. When they say Pantoute, they mean not at all, but be cautious not to confuse it with pantoufle, which means a slipper. There are a lot more expressions like these, but we'll stop here for now. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be here all day, my dudes. First of all, my dudes, the one that everyone knows so well here in Canada, the poutine. Ah. Or as they call it, the poutine. Yes, yes. One thing you need to know about a French Canadian and his poutine is they're really fussy about it. La sauce à poutine, pas des frites congelées. Franchement, là, faut que le fromage fait quick, quick. If you didn't know that French Canadians like their sugar, let me tell you about le pudding chômeur, or poor man's pudding. Ah. Le pudding chômeur consists of white cake on top of a blend of brown sugar and maple syrup. Although some factions in Quebec are still at war over whether or not you put maple syrup in your pudding chômeur. The perfect combo for a French Canadian is soup au pois and toast au creton, which translates to pea soup and toast with greaves. Greaves. <laughs> One of their most typical traditions is to celebrate Christmas on the 24th. Well, Actually, they don't celebrate Christmas on the 24th, they know it's the 25th, but they start celebrating here and then they party all night long, baby. Kinda like the new year, except on Christmas. They also have their own celebrations, like uh, June 24th is Saint Jean Baptiste, and they also have August 15th, which is National Acadian Day. They have September 25th, which is Franco-Ontarian Flag Day. And what's wrong? I see you looking at me all weird. Yes, there are French Canadians outside of Quebec. Dude. <laughs> Historical fact about the French Canadians that you might not know is that they lost a battle in Quebec at Les Plaines d'Abraham. Maybe if they had won that battle, the country, Canada as we know it, might have been a French-speaking country. Ah! 
And there you have it. Everything you needed to know about the French Canadians. Well, okay, maybe not everything you needed to know, but it's a start. Stay well, stay informed, and we'll see you again for another episode of The More You Know. I am Dude Dudley. Farewell, my dudes. <laughs>